I say landscape photography is the best photography. <laughs> This is going to be a very short video and a very controversial one. Why? Because I say landscape photography is the best photography. All right, I say landscape photography is the best. Why? I will explain you later. At first, well, let's take some cool shots. Three reasons why I think landscape photography is the best. Reason number one, it's inexpensive. You just need basic camera equipment. You don't need fast autofocus, animal eye autofocus. You don't need zoom lenses that reach from here to the moon. All you need is a basic camera, a DSLR or DSLM with a wide angle lens. A kit lens is totally enough that's all you need and you're ready to go. I do recommend though to get some filters. For sure you will need a polarizer. This is the number one filter you will need. And I also recommend you get some ND filters to do some beautiful long exposures of water. Also, landscapes are all around. You don't have to travel far. No need to go to Iceland, Norway, Australia, America, whatever. Just go somewhere close to your home. Landscapes are everywhere. No need to pay a lot of money for travel. Reason number two, being outdoors. Being outdoors is cool and it's healthy. It's good for you, good for your health. It's good for your mental health as well. So being outdoors is a great thing and doing landscape photography is a good reason to get out. Of course, wildlife photographers are also outdoors. But here's reason number three. Reason number three, you can do it with your dog. I've never seen any wildlife photographers bring their dogs on their trips. For sure it's possible, you can train dogs to stay calm beside you, especially gun dogs like Labradors, they can be trained to that. But well, obviously people don't like to do that, it's too much work. I don't see any videos of wildlife photographers going through the wild, waiting for the animals with the dog at their side. So most likely the dog is disturbing the wildlife. And that is what makes landscape photography superior to wildlife photography. 
to be able to do it with my dog is the number one reason for me to do landscape photography. Of course, I don't limit myself to landscape. I do other stuff. I do animal photography, portraits, street photography, whatever. But 90% of my work is landscape photography. And the main reason for it is this guy can join me on my trips. So when I got interested in landscape photography, I learned one key element is a foreground interest. So I thought, well, I bring my own foreground interest. And when I started, I thought I'd just go somewhere, put Cedric in front and take a good picture. But actually that didn't work so well because he's just sometimes too big as a foreground interest. And so we decided Cedric gets into the pictures only sometimes. Do you also think landscape photography is the best? No? You prefer a different kind of photography? List your three main reasons why you think another photography is better down in the comments. So I hope you liked the video. For sure, it's a very controversial one. But well, that's life. Everybody's entitled to his or her opinion and I'd really like to hear yours. Just tell me in the comments. This channel is growing slowly. I really appreciate your support. I hope you liked today's video. If so, give me a like. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have already, thank you very much. It means a lot to me. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope I see you all next time.